Hello ladies and gentlemen, we got some new Halo news today and it is not around Halo Infinite, it's actually around the Halo TV series. We got a silver debrief, I guess that's what they're calling, you know, just the, the post about that timeline since it's different than the normal Halo timeline. But there's a, there's a lot of information, uh, Kiki shares a lot of info, talks about the uh, show and whatnot. We're just going to skim through it. I will leave a link to it in the description down below. But uh, before we get into it, let me know your feelings. Are you guys excited for this show? If it's like anything like what Star Wars is doing with Mandalorian and Boba Fett or kind of Marvel with their TV shows, then this will be fantastic. If it's a 7 out of 10, I feel like that's a win because we've been waiting you know, like a decade for Halo on the big screen, or I guess on your TV screen. Yes, I know there was forward unto Dawn. I don't think that counts. Basically, they talk about, you know, the wait is finally over, and on January 30th during the AFC Championship game, we will get the official trailer. I think this is fantastic. That's a lot of eyes. Maybe a lot of people who wouldn't normally play Halo. I don't really know. But one of the things I wish they had done is, you know, like during the World Series, kind of show off Halo Infinite's multiplayer. I remember back in the day, like Call of Duty used to show the official trailer for the next game during the NBA playoffs. Uh, I don't know if it was during the finals or not, but I remember that being a big thing. They talk about being in post-production and finishing up the show, which means I think that this, it's obviously got to come out this year. And I think March is probably when it's going to go live. I'm sure they'll let us know during the official trailer, but that's my guess, March. There's some pictures, you know, throughout this um, that show off, you know, kind of Master Chief. I think he looks pretty good, honestly. I feel like it's kind of hard to translate video game stuff to real world, but I think they've done a pretty good job with him. It looks real, it looks authentic. We get a shot of the, the Pelican. This looks like a, you know, inside a carrier, maybe. I don't think it's like a, a base that's on, um, you know, like Reach or anything like that. But look at those scorpions in the back. It looks great, I'm not gonna lie. I don't know what they're carrying in those boxes. We get a picture of Halsey and her ship visiting Redacted. It looks like, you know, Forerunner Ruins, pretty cool. Actually, I don't know if it looks too much like Forerunner Ruins because um, of how decayed it looks. I don't know. This is New Alexandria um, before it was glass, so if you played Halo Reach, you know what this is. Very cool. I'm actually, man, I'm super excited. There's Halsey. Looks like Halsey. High Charity looks pretty nuts. I'm not going to lie. That's actually insane looking. Then we get some hollowed out asteroids make for a lively warren of villainy. So that's that looks kind of Star Wars-y to me, which is very cool because I feel like I've never seen anything like that in Halo. Then we get some pictures of Spartans. Um, again, I think they look pretty good. I'm not gonna lie. That looks like the DMR. That's pretty cool. Is it the DMR? I don't know, maybe not. Maybe I'm stupid. Sniper and stuff. Very, very, very cool looking. So they say with that, the silver debrief comes in the first of many to come. And again, during the AFC Championship game, you can see the live trailer. There's a lot of info in this. So if you wanna go read it yourself, it would take forever for me to read everything. Go check the description for the link, and I will catch you guys in the next one. Peace!